Yo what's up guys this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking neon logo animation in After Effects and we only need the Saber plugin for it which is free and really easy to download so I will put a link in the description but otherwise yeah let's go. So let's just delete this and just put your logo in here so just create a new solid and turn down the opacity by pressing T and just put it to like 20 so you can see through it or actually to 10 oh no to 10 like this and now we can start selecting this tool this pen tool and then we just have to mask this out and you can press shift if you want to have straight lines like for the bottom one okay so now we can um, yeah delete our logo we don't need it anymore and turn up the opacity again and now we have to search for the saber effect in the effects tab and just put it on it and now we can go to customize core and select layer masks as core type and just as you can see we get our or mask and then we can just select a nice preset which is fitting and the name is already neon so just go for this and now we can also go to render settings and change the composite settings from black to transparent so we can see our background and yeah now we can animate this so let's just um, put a keyframe at start offset to 100 at the beginning and then just go forward a bit like one second maybe and then bring it back to, to zero so we get this cool effect and we can also do this for the end so just make a keyframe at ends offset at 100 and then go to the end and put in zero so we got this effect and we can also make this a bit smoother by going in here and just selecting the these things and just press this thing so it will be a little bit smoother like this and we can also do it for the end like this and yeah now we can play around with the settings a bit Maybe we think that the glow is a bit too strong, so we can turn it down a little bit. Um, oh, this was already good, let's leave it like that. Put it to 0.03. And yeah, you can just play around with these settings until you think something looks good. I'll just let it like this because I think this looks really cool and now we can add some more effects to make it look a little bit old school and more interesting so we can um, select the no, it's called add, add grain effect and for this one we also have to play around with a few settings so first let's put the viewing mode to final output so we can see the results Oh wait, I, I put it on the wrong layer. So we have to do it on our on this layer. And yeah, we can just turn up the size a bit maybe. And as we can see, we get some grain effect. And also let's put the color to monochromatic and turn down the size to maybe yeah, like this. And this just looks a little bit, yeah, more rough, a little bit more realistic maybe. And we can also add this, this really nice thing, the, the animation presets, the linking opacity effect, which basically just, yeah, lets this thing blink a little bit. So we can turn up the opacity to like yeah, two. And as we can see, this, uh, yeah, we'll blink a bit, but we don't want it to be this strong, so 
let's not make it disappear fully but maybe to like 80 percent um why doesn't this work oh yeah 80 percent not 0.8 like this so we get this nice blinking effect and you can also yeah, play around with it maybe make it even less just whatever you like and then i really think this effect also looks good the venetian blinds i think that's how you pronounce it but i don't know so just put them on them as well and you can just give them a really small value like two percent maybe and change the direction to 90 for example and then we get this i don't know i think it looks more vintage or whatever i think it looks really cool but you don't have to use this of course maybe turn down the width and yeah i think this looks really cool and that's it basically thanks for watching